Hi Sterling, I hope this email finds you well. I've recently come across your work and greatly respect your experience in the adult industry. I have a specific question related to sexual confidence, an area I believe is fundamental for a healthy, satisfying, intimate life. How do you build and maintain sexual confidence in and out of the bedroom? I've already integrated weight training into my routine and prioritized my overall health. Excellent, well done, good. And I'm curious what else I can do. I appreciate your time and experience in addressing this question. Cool. So how do you build and maintain sexual confidence? Well, sexual confidence is, is based upon two things. It's based upon your, your ability in yourself to, you know, reliably, get, basically reliably get an erection and last as long as you want. Those two things are based, are your component of the sexual confidence. And the other part of sexual confidence for men tends to come from their ability to get women off and their knowledge of the female body and knowing the different buttons they can press on a woman to make her uh, enjoy herself, basically. So this could be things like knowing how to get a girl to squirt. This could be things like knowing how to erotically pull a girl's hair properly, knowing how to spank a girl properly, uh, knowing how to read dirty talk properly, knowing how to read a girl's body language, knowing how to uh, go down on a woman and get her to orgasm through cunnilingus. It could be knowing knowing how to manipulate certain sex positions to you know get a, give her a penetrative orgasm. Um, a lot of that comp that sexual confidence that side of the sexual confidence uh, of of what you can do to women as a man uh, is built up through. Uh, reference experiences, shall we say? So, being a having sex with a woman and having her really enjoy it, uh, obviously really enjoy it. Being able to give her a unique new sexual experience, teach her something, show her something new, will build you, will build confidence in you as a man. And uh, yeah, and, and generally just giving her giving a woman being able to give women orgasms pretty consistently, pretty reliably, reliably, and knowing her body in and out. Um, I have videos on all of these things for free on my YouTube channel. Um, so there was loads of resources there for you to, to use and utilize to, to, to take care of all this stuff and to take care of the other, the other stuff, half, other half we talked about, which is maintaining a strong erection and lasting longer. Um, wood, the wood supplement is one of, from Clubhouse Supplements, that is one of the best ways you can use to make sure that your, everything's functioning uh, biochemically, shall we say, to, for strong erections. But then again, the mental component of things, which is where performance anxiety induced uh, boner problems and premature ejaculation problems tend to coincide and come from is all mental issues and the easiest way to tackle those is simply to give yourself permission to fail it's kind of ironic it's kind of paradoxical but you have to not you truly not give a fuck truly not give a fuck and that's why i say give yourself permission to fail if you if you go into the sexual interaction uh making a big deal out of it and making it the be all and end all of your confidence, I guarantee you'll have problems. However, if you go into the sexual interaction with the with the attitude that this is no big deal, this happens all the time, uh, she's going to like me whether I give her the goods or not, and it doesn't matter. That giving yourself permission to fail attitude is going to build your confidence because you're going to have more reliable. Uh, more reliable performance and a better control over your performance because you're not going to be anxious. So those are the keys to building and maintaining sexual confidence.